Hello, good morning, everyone. So, toast to <laughs> a beautiful Thursday morning. So, let's have discussion over a cup of juice. <laughs> so, this is matters of the heart, definitely. And this morning, I want to talk about a very important subject matter. Can a bad marriage situation, a bad relationship situation, can it become better? Can it become enjoyable? Can there be any positive change? Okay, let's discuss. Now, it takes someone who believes that something good can come out of something bad to be able to see with the lenses that a bad relationship or a bad marriage situation can become better but let me tell you something the answer can be yes or no i will tell you why can a bad relationship can a bad marriage become better can it become enjoyable the answer is yes and no the answer depends on the people in that relationship in that situation so now the answer for yes i'm going to explain now I believe personally that a bad marriage situation, a bad relationship can become better and enjoyable if the people involved are ready to put in the work, they are ready for the change in their own person, they are ready to sit down and communicate and assess what is our problem. What is our challenge? How, if the two people involved are ready to sit down maturely like an adult and be reasonable and sensible and they are ready to take eh, their marriage serious, I'm telling you, there will be change. But if one person is desiring a change and the other person is fighting eh, and tearing apart, there cannot be a better situation. So, yes, if the two people are ready to dialogue, they are ready to change, they are ready to walk, they are ready to respect one another and talk and act. It's not only about talking, get me right. Yes, a lot of talking, talking can go, talk, 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 talk. But action, that is what we bring the needed change. When the two people involved are ready to communicate and put action into play, I'm telling you, a bad relationship or a bad marriage can become very sweet and enjoyable the answer is no if one or the two people involved are not ready to dialogue are not ready to do anything are not ready to adjust are not ready to act are not ready to put anything in place once one or two people in that relationship is not doing something or is not adjusting something to make the marriage better or enjoyable i'm telling you that bad situation can never become better it takes the two of you to work it out it's not one person then people say a, a wise woman a wise woman uh, we make sure that our marriage is not uh, broken only a woman cannot keep a marriage uh, if my husband is a uh, leader enough he should be able to guard our marriage against divorce only the man cannot keep the marriage. It is two of you. That is why you agree to work on the journey together. It is the two of you that can work. If one is working and the other is frustrating, nothing will get better. But when the two people are, are like, enough is enough. We want there to be a change. Then you are ready for a better situation. All right? Sometimes. Sometimes. For there to be a positive change, there has to be a disruption. You see, when some people come and relay their situation, the bad situation of their marriage, the, how will I say, the ugly state of their marriage, and you tell them there has to be a shaking, you have to say enough is enough. Sometimes it may even get to the point of temporary separation, and you say enough is enough. You have to choose between me and the other people. If it is your in-law that are causing the problem, you have there are some time you have to get to the point of enough is enough you have to choose between me and other men or other women sometimes temporary separation can change can turn a marriage situation positively temporary separation is not always 
uh, yielding negative results. Sometimes it will make that person to know that, yes, the other person that is causing the problem to know that I can't continue to treat this person this way. If I really want her or if I really want him, then I have to behave. Then I have to work on myself. Sometimes it brings brokenness to the other party. But when you sit down there and continue to bear all the garbages and bear all the rubbish, sometimes it doesn't bring brokenness to the other party. Who is the troublemaker? So, for there to be a positive change, for your marriage to get better and for you to enjoy it, you have to do something. You have to put in some work. You have to put in some action. Some of you think it's only prayer that will make the bad situation of your home to suddenly, magically turn good. Mm -mm. It's not only prayer. You need a change of attitude, a change of mindset, how you talk. Maybe you just talk blah, you just violence. <laughs> you just set up violence. You need a change. There's no magic that will happen when you pray. Oh Lord, turn my marriage around. All this fighting, all this, this. Uh. God is telling you, you work on yourself. When there is a bad situation, don't start with violence. Calm down. Keep your mouth shut. Calm down. Think before you talk. It is not only prayer that we give the desired change. Prayer plus work. Faith plus work. Faith plus action. When you put faith and work into action, then that bad, ugly situation of your marriage will become better. But when you're only praying and still doing all the wrong things, nothing will happen. No positive change. That is the problem many Christian homes are facing. You have turbulence in your home. You don't dig deep into the cause of the turbulence. You term everything spiritual. And the devil does not want me to enjoy my home. If you don't permit the devil, the devil does not have access. You are the one permitting the devil through your action, your words, your behavior, your character, your actions, your inactions. Even your inaction. When, you're, when your spouse is throwing garbage at you and you are doing nothing, you are endorsing that attitude. You are a robot. Ah, that, I am a dustbin. Just pour the... <laughs> garbage on me you know you need faith prayer plus action plus work sometimes the action may be changing from your own hand sometimes the action may be you refusing garbage to be poured on you and sometimes the positive change may come from separation it's not a separation that completely that, that leads to divorce sometimes some temporary separation leads to brokenness of the other partner or the two involved in like, ah, you know there are sometimes some people don't appreciate what they have until they lose it Sometimes when you want your husband or your wife to appreciate you better, you really need to be truly absent in their life. And then they will see the void. They will know, ah, oh, I've been hurting a good woman. Ah, oh, I've been offending a good man. Sometimes absence makes the heart grow fonder of the other person. When you are always available sometimes for garbage to be thrown at you, there may not be any positive change. Yes, sometimes you stoop to conquer. In a situation where it's not becoming violent. But when the situation is violent, you remove yourself from that situation and begin to work on yourself and hoping that the other person will come to a state of brokenness and realization for the situation to become better. So, the answer to the question, can a good marriage come out of a bad marriage situation? Yes and no. It depends on you. It depends on the two people involved. So that is what I have for you today. Do you have any question? Please go ahead and ask your question. Do you have anything to add to this discussion? Please go ahead and do that in the comment section. I want to read from you. So please do well to like, share, comment, so that this post can reach all the people that need it. Thank you very much for all the journey matters of the heart. Till I see you next time, stay blessed. Bye-bye.